Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase the Safe Mars token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB from Binance and then transfer it over to your Trust Wallet so you're able to swap the BNB for Safe Mars. Uh, now, I'm just going to let you guys know as well, I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials on my channel. So if you guys are into cryptocurrencies and you want to know what the new coins are and how to purchase them, I'd really recommend following along with this channel and subscribing as I will have daily content from here on out. Uh, now, so to purchase your Safe Mars, just follow along step by step as we go through the steps here to get you this token. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB into your smart chain on your trust wallet, you will now have to add the safe Mars to trust wallet. So I'll have the link in the description, the first one there to BSC scan. Uh, when you guys are on BSC scan, you just want to scroll down and copy the contract address right here. Once you guys copy that contract address, you can then exit out of here and go into your trust wallet. You want to go up to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Click on that and you just want to paste that address in the search option right there. 
And once you guys paste that address, you can go ahead and enable Safe Mars and click on Done. Once you guys have done that, you just want to make sure you have the browser option on the bottom of your screen here. Uh, and to do that, if you don't have it, I just have a second link in the description that you guys can click on. It'll just bring you over to Trust Wallet's website on their support page, and it'll just show you exactly what to do here. So I'll just show you guys really quick. You just have to go to step one, click on that link that says Trust Browser Enable, scroll down, and then you'll see step two here where it tells you just to open up the page in your Trust Wallet, and then it will then add the browser option in your Trust Wallet. So just make sure that you guys have that on there. Once you guys have the browser on your Trust Wallet, we can just go over to Browser and then over to PancakeSwap. Now, if this is your first time using PancakeSwap, you'll just have to connect your wallet at the top there. So you just see a button that says Connect. You just want to click on Connect and then Trust Wallet, and then it will show your wallet address in the top right there. And you'll know everything is good when you see your BNB balance in the exchange right here. For whatever reason, if you guys don't see your BNB balance, you just have to transfer it over to the Smart Chain wallet on your Trust Wallet. It's very easy to transfer. Uh, so just go ahead and do that and then come back here and then you will then see your BNB balance in PancakeSwap. Uh, now all you guys have to do is then set your slippage tolerance to 12%. And to change your slippage tolerance, you guys just have to go beside exchange here and click those three lines. Once you guys click on those three lines, you can then change your slippage tolerance to 12%. And once you guys have done that, you can then exit out here, click on select a currency and paste that same address that we got from BSC scan into here as well. We would then see safe Mars. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on add and then click on the token. Now, all you guys have to do is decide how much BNB that you want to transfer over into SafeMars. So let's just say if I wanted to do 0.2, I could type in 0.2. It will then show me the amount of SafeMars I'll get in exchange for my BNB. Uh, so all you guys have to do now is just click on where it says insufficient BNB balance. Once you guys click on uh, where it says swap there, probably, I don't really remember, uh, but it should say swap. Once you guys click on swap, it will then show you to the next page where it will just give you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your exchange rates and your fees and things like that. Now, if you guys are okay with those uh, rates and fees, you guys can just click on swap or continue, whatever it says there, and then it will then transfer the safe Mars into your wallet. You could then see your safe Mars by exiting out of here, going over to your wallet, and you should then see your safe Mars appear in your trust wallet, usually in a couple minutes, depends how the liquidity is. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you guys how to purchase safe Mars using trust wallet and pancake swap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.